Hey guys, this is part three of the Babysitter's Club. Chrissy's ready up, book one, so yeah. Chapter five, Saturday. Hi, Mrs. Pike. This is Chrissy. This is Christy Thomas. I wanted to tell you about a business I'm starting. Mrs. Newton, it's Mary Ann Spire. Christy came up with a great, great new idea. Hi, Mrs. Smith. It's Claudia Kishi from down the street. Hello, Stony Brook News. I'd like to plan an ad in this week's paper. Wednesday? That sounds great. Ooh, I can't wait. Hey, you guys. I have an idea. I think we should elect, you know, officers of the club. Officers? Yeah, a president, a vice president, a secret secretary, and and a treasurer. Perfect. Oh, I get it. Well, I nominate Christy for president. The club was her idea. I second it. Me too. It's anonymous. Wow, thanks you guys. Okay. I nominate Claudia for vice president since we're using her room and her phone number. She may get a lot of calls to handle when the rest of us aren't here. I second it. Me too. Anonymous again. Um, Stacy, if you don't mind, I'd like to be secretary. I'm good at writing things down. That's perfect. I'm good with money and numbers. I was hoping I could be treasurer. Great. Yeah. Oh no, I have to go home, but I'll be right back. Stacy, if you're still on that dumb diet, just say so. You don't have to run away. No, no, it's not that. Look, we can put the gummy bears back. I just, I just forget, forgot something. It'll only take a minute. Twenty minutes later. Where is it? Where's what? What you forgot? Oh, oh no, I just forgot to do something, but it's all taken care of. So how could... Stacy, check out the flyer we made. Ooh, let's see. Need a babysitter? Save time. Call the babysitter's club. I guess I should get going. It's almost dinner time and my mom's and my mom's going out with with Watson tonight. Who's Watson? My mom's boyfriend. My parents are divorced. Oh. Are yours divorced too? Nope. They've been married for fifteen years. I have been married for twenty years. My, my mother died when I was a baby. She had cancer. It's all right, really. I don't remember her. But sometimes I wish I did. I really better go. Ding dong! Christy Watson's here! Slam! Coming! Clump! Clump! Surprise! What? Isn't this nice, Christy? Watson brought over Chinese food. We can eat together before he and I go out. Who's taking care of your fit kids? I found a very nice babysitter. She took care of Andrew and Karen this morning when I went to the office and they liked her very much. Uh oh. See. <laughs> Mom, is there any left of that leftover chi chili? What's wrong, Christy? I thought you liked Chinese food. It's okay, I guess. But I don't feel like it tonight. We're out of chili. You may have a peanut butter sandwich if you like. Clatter. So how are things, Christy? Fine. School okay? Yep. What are you doing that's new or interesting? Nothing. Guess what? Mom's going to let me get a new G.I. Joe, one of the good guys. 
That sounds pretty exciting. I don't know much about G.I. Joe's, Joe dolls. I don't think Andrew plays with them. For them. Oh, he probably does. You just don't know because you're not around enough. Besides, the action figures, not dolls, right, David Michael? Right, Christy? And Karen probably has a Rainbow Brick doll. Ever heard of those? Christy, apologize to Watson this instant and then go to your room. But Mom, I haven't finished this delicious dinner yet. Christy, Amanda, Thomas, you are asking for it, young lady. I'm sorry, Watson. I'm sorry you're such a horrible father. Slam. The thing is, Watson is actually a very good father. He sees Karen and Andrew all the time and never forgets holidays. Like my dad does. Dear Mom, I'm sorry I was so rude. I guess I haven't learned much about Decoron. I hope you had your fun on your date. I love you, Christy. The next morning, Dear Christy, I love you, Mom. Chapter 6 That Wednesday as soon as I got home from school. Now where's that paper? Flip, flip. Hey Christy, what are you doing? Look, here it is, our ad. Ooh, let me see. Wow! Now we can just finish putting up those flyers today. We might actually get some calls on Friday. I know. Let's get Mary Ann to help us. Okay, and Stacy. No, Stacy's busy. No, Stacy's busy this afternoon. What's she doing? Don't know. Come on, are you ready? Let me see if Kathy's here yet. She's babysitting for David Michael today. Oh, good. Mom copies more flyers. That's the last flyer. Now we just wait back and... Now we just sit back and wait for calls. Friday. Come in. The phone's not going to run away, you know. I know, I'm just so excited. So am I. Bounce. I've been waiting all week for today to come. Oh, this has got to work. You'll have customers, won't we? Knock, knock. Probably, Marianne. All right. Come in. Uh -huh. I've been studying your sign from out here in the hall, M, and I'm wondering if possibly you made a mistake. What? Well, I'm not entirely sure you have made a mistake. I'm trying to decide whether you need an apostrophe after the word babysitters. You see, without an apostrophe, the word is simply plural, meaning the club consisting of the several or many. Hello, everybody. Save. Hi, Stace. Slam. Or David Michael. Kathy can't come next Wednesday. I got our appointment book right here. Now let's see. Marianne, you have a dentist appointment that day and I have art. Christy, that is you and Stacy. What should we do? Just a sec, Mom. He's your brother. 
But if you took it, you'll get to know some other people in the neighborhood. You'll probably meet my older brothers. Brothers? But what will you do while I babysit and sit and watch? Hopefully I'll get another job. Hello, Mom. Stay safe, we'll take the job. Hey, where are you calling from? Oh, the office. Quit tying up the line, Christy. Mom, I have to go. Ring. Can I it? Good afternoon, Baby Service Club. I think you have the wrong number. There's no Jim Bartolini here. Ring. You get it. You get it, Christy. You are the president. Baby Service Club. Yes, yes. Just a moment, please. Do you, any of you know a Mrs. McKeever on Quincy Court? Nope. No. What she got? Two kids. Buffy and Pinky. Buffy and Pinky? Buffy and Pinky? They're three years old. They must be twins. She needs someone that wants to act in you. I guess I'm the, the only one free. Cool. A new sweat. Ring. Hello? No? There's no Jim Bartolini here. Ring, ring. Hello? Chrissy, is your mom again? Mom, did Kathy back out of her other afternoon too? Oh, oh. Oh, no. Not me. I'm not babysitting for them. You know how I feel. Okay, but hang on. Watson needs a babysitter for his kids next Saturday. I'm not doing it. I'm getting curious about them. Fine. Sign yourself for, up for the job. Ring! Wow! 5.55. One last call. Hello? What? It's some boy on the phone. He says his name is Jim Bartolini. He wants to know if there, if, if there been any calls for him. You're kidding! What? Oh, wait a second. Sam, is that you? No, it's Jim Bartoli. Bartolini. I was wondering if... Sam, you're a rat. The nerve. Sam, it's not funny. I was not happy when I got home. Ring. Hi, Christy. It's Claudia. Mrs. Newton called tonight. She needed she needed a sitter for Thursday. Yeah. So I took the job. That's great, Claude. So just because the main phone number is her, she gets first crack at every job. Mrs. Newton always calls me first. At least she used to. Well, at least I got a new salon. Pinky and Buffy McKeever. I, w I wish it were Wednesday now. Wednesday after chapter 7. Hi, Stace. Come on in. I'm leaving in a minute. Here's the, here's the kitchen. The dishwasher is broken. David and Michael can have a snack. Cookies in the jar. Nothing after 4.30. He's allergic to chocolate. Oh, there's Louie. He won't be any trouble. All the phone numbers are on the bulletin board. Mom, Mom's is on the phone. I'll be at the McKeever's babysitting. The TV's in the playroom. David Michael likes Candyland. It's in the cabinet under the bus tread. The stereo ring. See if there are any notes from his teachers in his lunchbox. Any questions? This is my friend Stacy. This is Stacy. She's my friend. She's babysitting for you today. I'll be babysitting somewhere else. Not far away. I'll be back around five. Oh, Stacy. My big brothers are Charlie and Sam. Charlie is 16 and Sam is 14. They might be around this afternoon. They might. They might not. Have fun, you guys. Slam. Hi. Hi.
click slam. Hi, hello. You must be Stacy. Has Christy mentioned me? Uh, yeah, well, she said you were going to babysit today. I was going to go over to this guy, Ernest's house, but maybe. But, uh, but I think he's busy or something, so I'll just stick around here. Well, listen, do you want me to leave? There's no reason for your mom to pay me to babysit if you're going to be at home. <laughs> no, no. The real, the deal with mom is Charlie and Chrissy and I only have to babysit Dave and Michael one day a week each. The rest of the day, the rest of the time we can do whatever we want, even if we're at home. Wow, that's really nice of your mom. Can I have a Twinkie? I guess so. Do you think you'll still be able to eat your dinner today? Yes. Okay. Rip. Want the second one, Sam? Sure. Oh, no thanks. You must be the one on the diet. That sure takes willpower. So... How about some Candyland? Yeah. Heck, I'll play too. We can have a champion series. First one to win two games is the first is the Candyland champion of the universe. You going to play? Yeah, sure. But you but you never. Hey, little brother, your shoes untied. It is. I don't have any laces. Made your look. You, you, I'm telling. Zip. Hey, Squirt, come on. We'll better start playing if we're going to have time for a champion series. Meanwhile, hello? Hi, I'm Christy Thomas. I'm here to babysit for Buffy and Pinky, the twins. This house seems way too neat. Too neat. Oh, the, oh. Sorry. Oh, they are... In the laundry room. The laundry room? They're a bit unruly. Oh, I know all about unruly. Let me introduce myself. I'm Miss Hargravis, Mrs. McKeever's niece. She's out of town and I had an appointment this afternoon. We need, we finally, we finally need someone with Pinky and Buffy at all times. What does she expect? Let's go let them out of the laundry room. They're probably ready to play. All right. Get ready. Get ready. These two monsters and my aunt will particularly break the door down. Ack! Do I have to watch them plus Pinky and Buffy? Oh my dear, these aren't puppy, Pinky and Puppy. But, but, I'm a babysitter, not a dog sitter. I don't know what arrange, arrangements my aunt made. But here are the dogs, and here they are, and I have to leave. But, but, slap. Want to go outside, guys? Zoom. Grab. Whoa! You're staying at you're staying outside inside for the rest of the afternoon. Meanwhile, back in my house. Stop cheating, Squirt. I am not. Christy. Later. How did it go, Stacy? Your older brother's so hot. I'm at the baby thing. Oh, it was fine. I decided that from now on, the members of the babysitter's club should keep a note. Each time one of us, us finishes a job, we should write it up in the notebook and the others should read about it. That way we can learn from each other's experiences. And we, we, and we won't make any mistake more than once. For instance, no more dog sitting. 
Friday, September 26th. Chrissy says we have to keep a record of every babysitting job that we do in this book. My first job through the babysitter's club was yesterday. I was sitting for Jamie Newton. Only it wasn't just for Jamie, it was for Jamie and his three cousins, and boy, were they wild. Chapter 8. Hi, hi. Hi, Jamie. Oh, who are all of your friends? Hello, Claudia. Come on in. That's mine! Yank. No, it's not. It's mine! I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you. Jamie's cousins are visiting today. No, 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 no! Rosie is free. Give it back. Brenda is five. And getting over the chicken pox. And Rob is eight. I hate girls. This is my sister, Mrs. Feldman. We're going to an art exhibit downtown. I hope you don't mind. Mom! Girls, don't play with jokes. That's my movie run. Give it. Jamie, sometimes girls do play with trucks. Rosie, you don't have a movie van like this, but you bought three trucks with you. Maybe you and Jamie can play nicely together. A few minutes later. Hey, Jamie. Let's get away from all these girls, okay? Okay. Where are you going? I'm not telling. I'm the babysitter. So, Squee, just tell me where you're going. It's going to make me... Nobody, but I won't leave until you do. <laughs> but have we ever had a babysitter as mean as, as her before? No, Sniff. No. Are we going to let her be mean? No! All right, okay, let's do it. Ah! Boing. Hiya, I'm a ninja. You're a dead man. I mean, deadly. Ah, hiya, boing, boing. Ah, hiya, 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 boing, boing, boing. Sigh. Hiya. Ah. Hiya, hiya. Hi, hiya. Hey, babysitter. I'm karate ch chopping you. Okay, babysitter? Not now. I'm busy. And that's how Claudia managed to tame the Feldman. Saturday, September 27. I don't know what Chrissy always makes such a fuss about. Boston's kids are cute. I think Chrissy would like them if, if she ever babysat them for them. Are you reading this, Chrissy? I hope so. Well, this notebook is for us to write our experiences and our problems in. Especially our problems. And there are few and there were a few problems at Watson's house. Mary Ann. Chapter nine.